Hey guys, welcome to the very last The Daily Bits. Or is it? I don't know yet, I'm still deciding. So I said I was going to do the last one a little bit special because, you know, let's face it, this is actually a really big thing for me. Um, we started on this journey last year about this time. And I said I was going to post 365 videos of The Daily Bits. That's one daily bits each day. Now you guys see me, my ups, my downs, right now my downs. Um, my voice is almost gone. Um, I'm sick still, obviously. Nothing's changed there. But um, <laughs> I'm really excited to do this video. Um, I just can't believe after one year... We finally did it. We finally hit 365 uh, of these videos. A lot, it's been a journey. It really has, it's been a journey. Uh, in terms of subscriber count, we didn't really move up a whole lot. I think we gained maybe 50 subscribers since last year. That's still really good, right? Feels good to me. Um, I know um, it didn't grow like I wanted it to, but that's okay. That's okay, because we learned a lot of things. I learned that I have a really awesome community that is very supportive. I know we're small, but I feel like we're many. I feel like you guys have brought the best of me. Not only me, but Mrs. Bits. You saw me in one of the roughest times of my life, where I lost my dad. You see me when I was sick. You see me where I'm worried about losing my job, which is still happening. You see me really happy. You see me really sad. You see me go on a vacation. You see me make mistakes. And you see me have accomplishments. Today, I do want to talk about an accomplishment. This morning, on my way to work, I end up giving my soul to God. I've been thinking about it for a while. A lot of a lot of messages, a lot of callings, and I've been talking about it for the last few days. I actually prayed today for God to take control of my life. I feel like there's a piece of me that's lifted up quite a bit. Now, if you're worried about this becoming a really religious channel, don't worry about it. I'm not going to push religion on you. just want to tell you how really good I feel right now, um, knowing that he's going to take care of me. It might seem it's like it's a rough time, but God's got my back and he's got your back. You never have to think you're alone because as long as you believe in him, he's got you. Really happy about it. I actually messaged Mrs. Bits this morning. I told her I was at work today. I went in and I got confronted by a couple people and they had me go immediately to the hospital. So you guys know I've been sick for about a month. Started out with COVID. Now it's this. They say it's pneumonia. Then they say it's not pneumonia. <clears throat> kind of getting mixed messages. Today I went back to the hospital. Said it wasn't pneumonia. Second time. Both the original times, these people were telling me I have pneumonia without giving me a chest x-ray. In review, or what we found out, it's most likely remnants from COVID, possibly either COPD, or an infection. I actually go tomorrow to my primary care to get things taken a look at from him to kind of see where to go to next. I'm having to use my last vacation days to make up for this, which it kind of sucks, but you guys know what I'm trying to do. 
So I haven't heard back from the other job. I'm hoping that, you know, things will be taken care of. For you guys who stuck with me, thank you so much. Thank you so much for giving me a chance. I know I've put my mouth... <laughs> my mouth in my mouth. I put my foot in my mouth many times. You guys let me know that. <laughs> Trust me, I'm not going to say everything I say is gospel because it's not. I am human and I make mistakes. And any time I make mistakes, I try and did best to tell you guys that, hey, I made a mistake. You see me fell a couple times at weight loss. As of today, I'm still working on it. I maintain about 308 pounds. Didn't follow through like I thought I was going to. Of course, being six not helped, but it's really not an excuse. I say we still have a while. Mrs. Smith is determined. I'm determined to shed the weight to get healthier. We're getting back in the boxing. Doesn't mean I'm going to get in a ring and fight somebody. I think that's long done over. Plus, Mrs. Spitz probably doesn't want me to do that. Um, I tell you, man, her coming in, like doing some of the episodes, you guys really like her and I really appreciate it. She's a, she's a wonderful woman and I'm proud of her every step of the way. She's just hit over 200 days without smoking a cigarette. That's really good. I'm really happy for her. So proud of her. You guys seen us get married? Which is really cool. Actually, hang on. The Daily Bits didn't start that. Before then. But you guys got to see our marriage life for the most part. I started a second channel. I haven't really got deep into it because I haven't had the time. But as you can see back there with the, the new scroll there, that's for the new channel. Does that mean Bits and Pieces is gone? No. Lights are still on. Bits and Pieces is still going. What's that mean right now? I want to take a small break. Maybe a couple weeks. Doesn't mean I'm done. Just means I'm going to take a small break. I'm going to come back. I'm going to try to do two to three videos a week. I'm going to try to get back into live streaming. I'll probably do some live streams at the gym. You're going to see a lot of this stuff. On the second channel, be doing a lot of gaming shorts. And a lot of gaming videos. I'm going to aim to two to three videos a week. And maybe five shorts a week. That's a tall order. I want to try to do it. I do want to be a successful YouTuber. I really do. I really do. I don't want to talk about negative stuff. Uh, I know we spend a lot of time bashing auditors and frauditors and stuff like that. And those guys, believe me, they, they deserve all the hate they could possibly get. But I don't think I'm really going to worry about them anymore. Sure, well, there'll be an occasional, occasional chili video if you guys want it. But we're going to make a lot of friends. I want to do, hopefully, several more years of bits and pieces and Mr. Evil Ass Gaming Channel. I'm eventually going to do merch. That's possibly going to happen. I don't know when. But maybe once we start streaming, I'm hoping to stream at least one or two days a week. With me looking into a new job, schedules are going to change. They might not make any videos at 8 o'clock in the morning. I know going 365 days, and you're like, well, where's the next video? I got to hone my craft a little bit. I got to put more effort in my videos. We'll do more reaction videos. Those uh, UFO videos are really fun to do. We could do more reaction videos like that. Do their bits and places. Probably won't be often. But it'll be soon. 
do a lot of the bits and places stuff. There's a lot of places in this area we can go to. We're going to try to be better people. Try to all of us be better people. We're going to make new friends. We might make new enemies. We're going to be happy. We're going to be sad. We might cry. We might yell. We'll live for God. We're going to take care of things. I'm looking into going back into school. Finishing my degree. Just send my transcripts off to a new university. And see what happens. I haven't been to school for a long time. If I can finish my degree and get some certifications. I think that's going to really do good for me. Of course, the gaming stuff is going to be fun as well. We'll have video game streams. At least one stream a week at the Mr. Evil Ass. And I hope you guys go over there and subscribe. I really do. Um, if you like gaming, stuff like that, it's one of my passions. And I know some people say that's not content, but it's always made me happy. Of course, of course, we got other things we can do, especially with the bits and places. We're trying to go to Jungle Gyms, Cincinnati, vacation, wherever. Next couple years, Japan. This is actually kind of sad because I didn't think I was going to make it to 365 videos. I'm not very good at commitment. But if this proves, proves anything, we're committed and we done what we said we was going to do. There were scares where I thought I was just going to quit. Some days I'll look at the videos, maybe see a handful of views, and I'm like, is this isn't worth it. But you get to thinking that somebody's watching that might help. And I've heard a lot of you say that my videos has encouraged you. We're going to talk a lot about mental health. We're going to make a change. I don't want to see any more of us suffer, especially friends and family or you guys. I don't want to see another person's gravestone due to them ending themselves. I don't want to see that. I don't want you to be alone. I want to try to be more assertive. I want to try to talk to more of you guys. On the streams for bits and pieces. I'd like to do some interviews. Talk to some new people. Maybe enemies, maybe friends. But I think we can come together and do something awesome. I'm not going to do any fundraisers. For Bell, don't worry about that. I'm not going to jail either. Unless something crazy happens and I end up in jail. I always say that I'm really cringy. And I am. By design. <laughs> I'm very cringy. Very cringy. Can't help it. Can't help it. I'm a nerd. And I have a weird sense of humor. I want to spend more time with the family. Try to rekindle friendships that I've lost along the years. Go to concerts, maybe. I don't know. Blink-182 is coming to town, so that's a big plus. Hope we can have some more people on the streams. Like I said, I'm going to try to do two to three videos a week here, two videos and some shorts on the other channel, and occasional streams. If you haven't already, help this channel continue growing. We're going to talk about more UFOs and spooky things. Spooky. We may even do some ghost hunting and some stargazing. That'll be exciting. Try to participate in the community with other things that are going on, parades what and whatnot. But guys, I'm just going to tell you again. 
Thank you so much for staying with me for this last year. Hopefully, hopefully, we can do more soon. I love you guys very much, and I mean it. It brightens my day every time I see a comment. I know I'm not good at talking on the comments I try to. But just let me know. I'll, I'll let you know. I read every single comment. I try to react to them the best I can. I I swear to God, you guys mean... I swear to God, that's bad. I shouldn't say that. Bad. You guys mean a lot to me. And this has been a ride. I really, really appreciate it. So before I start crying... I'll lose my voice any further. I love you, Mr. Bits and Mrs. Bits. We got your back. Subscribe, and I'll see you soon.